Hello, we're the Koistras, and we're your missionaries that have been serving with Wycliffe Bible Translators for almost 25 years. It's It's been our joint privilege to serve with them. You guys have been supporting us that entire time, and we uh, wanted to take a chance to thank you for all that you've done for us. Here at home, our family is growing up. We have four children, ages 16 to 23. The girls are out of the house now. Lauren is married, Adriana in college, but the boys are still with us. Jan and I work with JARS, which is the support arm of Wycliffe Bible Translators. Uh, we exist to help the aviation needs all around the world. Uh, one cool thing about JARS is we, we in the training department are training guys not only for Wycliffe, but for AIM Air, SAM Air, and quite a few different evangelical missions. Uh, it's a unique position that we're in, and I love being part of the training department. Jan and I came back from overseas in 2014 and we've been serving here in Waxhaw, North Carolina ever since. Uh, the first five years, I worked in the hangar floor, running shop projects, working with the guys, um, had a lot of fun getting planes ready for the field. Um, but, but about five years ago, they asked me to consider joining the training department. That was brand new for me. I'd never really considered being in the training department, but after considering it, and hey, I, I like mentoring people, so, so I gave it a shot, and, and it's been great. The last five years has been a blast. I've seen a lot of people come and go um, off to the field, and it's been great to be a part in investing in their lives and, and getting them ready for field service. You guys have supported us for years. Uh, we first went to the Philippines in 2001, served there seven years, and then seven years in Peru as well. Um, when I was overseas, I counted on the guys in Waxhaw for field support, parts, uh, help in all kinds of different ways, and now it's my turn. I help the guys overseas, both in field support and also in training. Prospective missionaries will come to us and uh, we'll do an initial technical evaluation both in maintenance and flight and if they pass that they'll come for usually about a four to six month training period here in Waxhaw, North Carolina where we'll spend extensive time training them in maintenance, in flight, uh, to get them ready for situations that are not common here but is everyday life overseas. I worked as a mechanic for years, often working by myself, and uh, I never really dreamed of being a maintenance instructor, but it's been a really good fit for me. I, I really enjoy training guys. Uh, Philip came here this last week, and he's here for a technical evaluation. Yeah. And I would say David is a great instructor, especially from the 206 course that I've gone through with him. Um, he has helped equip me and is going to continue to equip me uh, so I can start in the same air Peru. People often ask me why we use airplanes. We're not in love with airplanes. The only reason we do it is our missionaries work in some really, really remote places. Places where without airplanes, you just really couldn't get to. I want the guys that I train to be as professional as they can to maintain these planes in some really, really rugged, hard to work in places. That's why we do what we do. So we just want to thank you again for all the support you've given us. Um, we know it's a crazy time in the world these days. so. Helping support us for the last 25 years is no small thing, and we are really grateful. Because of you, a lot of people around the world are getting the Bible in their heart language. So we just want to say thank you and from the bottom of our hearts and for all you have done for us. Thank you for your support and your prayers. You guys are amazing. We couldn't do this without you. Thanks again.